everybody, Sand from Superstitch. Today I'm excited to talk to you about the Janome Continental M7. This is truly a machine that's in a class by itself. Now if you've seen my Skyline series, the S7, the S9, all those sewing features are included in the Continental M7, but I'm going to show you even more what makes it in a class by itself. If you're new to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. We want to start a new series on tips and tricks, and we welcome your comments and suggestions. So be sure to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell, so that you'll be notified when there is a new video. So this is the Janome Continental M7. Isn't it beautiful? This is such an incredible machine. At first glance, it's obvious what sets this machine apart. The bed is just huge. It's 13 and a half inches of bed space here. You've got your own thread stand built into the machine so it'll accommodate the heavier threads. You've got all kinds of features here, an independent bobbin winder. What you can't see, what's inside here, is the most powerful motor on any domestic sewing machine. And it's just incredible. We'll show you how that works. And it comes with this box of feet, which includes, you've got the Janome AccuFeed foot, it also includes an AccuFeed HP foot, our high performance AccuFeed foot, in addition to the regular HP foot. These are just incredible. So you've got this whole box of feet comes with the machine. It includes all three Janome needle plates. We have our nine millimeter plate, our single hole plate, and our HP high performance plate. You might wanna check out our video on the needle plates. To change the needle plate on the M7, all I have to do, I'm going to lock the machine and touch. Of course, once I attach a new plate, the machine will recognize the plate and will automatically allow me to select only the stitches that work with that plate. This nice bright screen is right in front of us, so it's so easy to see, view all your stitches and all your selections here. Every stitch has a default width, length, tension, and foot pressure. Plus, I can customize and save two custom settings for every stitch on the machine. So we have our utility, we've got our buttonholes, we've got all these different categories of stitches. We also have our tapering stitches. So we showed this on the S9 video. We've got a tapering function in the Nettle M7. Something new is our hand stitch selection. These stitches are, going, are quilting stitches that will make it look like you've actually hand quilted your quilt. So if you notice, as I select a stitch here, you'll see how the stitch is just not quite so perfect. So it actually will look like you've hand quilted. Then in our sewing applications, we've got so many new things here. These are all of our sewing applications. And again, all I have to do is select, if I'm doing a, um, maybe a trico, I just select knit, it's lightweight. And again, width, length, tension, foot pressure, look at that, it just reduced my foot pressure for me. I didn't have to know that I had to do that. Everything is selected right here. I also have my quilting applications. We have our memorized piecing. So like I showed in our previous video on the S7, I showed how you could create one pair, you, you memorize your seam on one pair and every pair is exactly the same. So we have memorized piecing. We have our variable zigzag and we also have some new um, options with the variable zigzag. Of course, we've got our applique with our cornering feature that I've shown in the past. We also have new shishiko stitches and your hand look stitches. So all kinds of quilting um, applications all set to go for you. In your foot applications, so these are all specialty feet and you can select it and it's going to tell you what to do with those. So let's say you've never used a ruffler before. So I can select a ruffler and then maybe you're not sure what this means, the one, the six, and the 12. Let's say I select the six. So simply download and open the free Janome AccuSpark app. 
you're going to go to the scan tool and I'm simply going to scan this QR code right here in the corner and look at that it's going to give me all the instructions tells me all about the ruffler and how to use it so for any stitch on the machine you simply scan the code and you've got a built-in manual right there you also have lots of other information here. You've got tutorial videos, you've got your stitch chart, all about your sewing applications. Just a great app, and it's free at the App Store. So we have our Easy Set bobbin here. We simply just bring the thread around there. I'm ready to go. We also have a very quick and easy needle threader. I'm just going to quickly thread my needle. Now let's talk about the performance of this machine. What is incredible here, and I'm gonna drop the foot off for a minute so you can see. When I'm done sewing, my feed dogs are gonna drop. So they're down right now. As soon as I start to sew, these feed dogs are gonna come up and just pull my fabric right in. So that means I can actually start sewing right on the very end of my fabric. I have a very, very sheer piece of chiffon fabric here. I could start right at the very end of that fabric and watch what happens. That's going to pull that in. It's, I actually have my 9 millimeter plate on. I would probably have used my straight stitch plate, but just to show you that did not pull that down into the bobbin case. Starts and pulls it right through. So you can see how well it handles sheer fabric. Now let's say I want to do something heavy. Let's go with, oh um, well, let's see, there's a, two layers of denim. How about four? How about six? How about eight layers of denim? We're going to go right from our sheer fabric. Didn't even hesitate, right into the denim. How about some leather there? Let's go right into the leather. Perfect stitch. I didn't even change anything. I didn't change width, length, tension. I just sewed. So this is going to handle anything you want to sew beautifully with no problem. And another example just to show you how beautifully this machine feeds and I've got our incredible HP plate and foot. So if you're a quilter and you're doing some curved piecing, this is just incredible how this machine is going to feed. If you have trouble maneuvering curves, this machine is just going to feed those with no problem whatsoever. So one of our new sewing applications in the quilting applications grouping is ruler work. So this machine includes a ruler work application and includes the ruler work foot. So it comes with the ruler work foot. So that includes things like this. So if you've never done ruler work before, this is a project that we did that comes with the Janome ruler work kit set. So all the rulers you need to make this are included. Okay. What you want to do is you're going to drop the foot and you need that foot to just glide, but you don't want it to go over the, the um, the ruler. So the machine allows me to adjust the height of this foot so I have perfect feeding for ruler work. So right now it recommends using the straight stitch plate and I do have my straight stitch plate on. It's automatically increased my tension but you could adjust that as well and we do have a low tension bobbin case for doing quilting and ruler work. This is my foot height. So this allows me to adjust the height of the foot should I need to to accommodate different thicknesses of batting. 
and I can put that wherever it is I want. The default in my case is good. So you want to get it so that it's just, you should be able to just slide a business card under the foot for perfect foot height. So you're simply going to, you can use your foot control or your start stop. I usually use a foot control. It does a one stitch stop. This would allow me to pull my bobbin thread up and just, I'm just going to go ahead and just show you. And we do, we have some virtual events and classes on doing ruler work to show how you can create all kinds of different shapes using your ruler work. The machine does include the ruler work foot and the ruler work function. Now we have our AccuFeed system that we love so much on the Janome, but there is something different on the Continental M7. So the AccuFeed foot is designed to feed your fabric from top and bottom and giving you a forward motion on your feet. So when I attach this, this is engaged right into the feeding system, which means it's adjustable. And I do show this how to attach this properly on our S7 video. Now when I engage my AccuFeed system, okay, I'm gonna select quilting, and I'm just gonna select um, straight stitch. When I engage my AccuFeed system, this just engaged a separate motor. The, the motor on the M7 is going to adjust the AccuFeed system, where on the other machines I have a dial on the side of the machine. So just like on the other machines, it's going to gray out anything other than a straight stitch, because you're going to have the AccuFeed motor adjusting this. And here is my adjustment right here. So instead of the dial on the side, I'm actually adjusting the AccuFeed motor, which allows me to adjust that feed. So if I have problems with my top puckers or my bottom puckers, I can make an adjustment for that. Now I like to also use some of my quilting stitches with my dual feed system. So in order to do that, what Janome has done is given me a manual option for my AccuFeed. So what I'm gonna do is disengage my AccuFeed option on the screen. And I'm gonna go to my settings here and I'm gonna activate my manual dual feed. And now I can manually adjust my dual feed. So that means now I could go to my categories. I could choose my serpentine stitch that I love so much. And you can see that I've adjusted that. I'll go ahead, I'll put it at default, and you can see how it's feeding at the default. I can adjust my width and my length here. I'm also able to adjust my width and my length here, which makes it really easy when I'm adjusting on the fly. So as I'm going, I can just decide I wanna make it longer, I wanna make it wider, and I can do that while I'm sewing. And I've got my dual feed action with my quilting stitches. Also on this screen, I've, my, I've got my quilt block advisor. So you could go in and you could select the type of block that you want to make. You could input the size of the block that you want to make. And then it's going to give you all the information on how many pieces and what sizes you'll need to cut the pieces to make that block. And again, you've got your QR code to scan for more information. Now you'll want to make sure when you are using, to, in order to use the manual dual feed option, make sure that your machine is at version 1.11. If it is not, you wanna to talk to your dealer and update your machine. So we could just keep going on and on forever on this machine. It is just so incredible. But just to kind of recap some of the highlights, of course, the big bed, the powerful motor, the HP plate and foot, the ability to sew curves, the ability to sew anything you want from the sheerest fabric all the way through the thickest denim, anything you want. So this machine is really for anyone who just wants to sit down and sew 
whatever. Whether you're a quilter, you will love the free motion on it, the ruler work, the variable zigzag. If you're a garment sewer, you can sew anything. You've just got your zipper applications, all of your sewing applications in your applications category. You've got your straight stitch plate for your finer fabrics, the ability to just sew those with no puckering, no problem at all. If you're a crafter, you can, you've got the bed space to put anything in here and sew through anything at all. So really, this machine is just for anybody who just wants to sit down and sew anything at all at any time without ever any, having any issues at all. This will just sew everything. It is just an incredible machine. So if you're serious about sewing and you just want to sit down and have a great time and just love your machine, you want to check out the Janome Continental M7.